Okay, uh, 12 minutes past seven. Upper Green Advisory Committee meeting declared open. Right, first item, minutes. October 29th. Just change the order. I think that was just October. It's just a title. It's just a title. Yeah. No, it's not. Oh, title. yeah, it is a title. It's no, a title. No, it's she, she knows what I mean. A motion was made to adjourn. Right. Oh, yeah, it's a and title. meeting adjourn. Right. Okay. Oh, I can put a bullet. Right. Uh, any other comments? Oh, we get a spread for that. No, otherwise, fine. Yeah. Yep. Should I just send um, that updated to you and then I'll post it? Yeah, okay, awesome. Thank you. Okay, uh, I have approval of the minutes of the uh, October 29th. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Noted. Yeah. Then we got the minutes of the 26th, right? Uh, minutes of November 26th. Because it really wasn't a meeting, <laughs> and I really wasn't there for it. I was there for a different matter. But um, there's no. Uh, this was the public forum. This was the public forum. No. Yeah. yeah do you no, mean no, no, this uh, is, November twenty seventh? This was the select selectmen's meeting. Yeah. Of which we I didn't were, really know how to do that. Yeah, I don't blame it. <laughs> no, I don't blame it. Because we were all together and we could have discussed anything. It had to be listed as a public forum, a public right. meeting. I, right. I called, I okay. wrote the state house. Right. But I wasn't there at first, and I was there afterwards, and I wasn't with you people. But anyway, um, the only comment I had on it was um, you got uh, concluded at 7.30 p.m., and uh, that was that was the discussion was concluded. I don't know how to end it. But you still got to respectfully submit it, Amelia. Oh, yeah. I can do that. Right. I can be very respectful. <laughs> I'm going to put that on my yeah, I mean, it's just a subset of the... Uh, so we're just oh. looking to approve the minutes. We're not going to discuss anything about it, right? Right. No. Yeah, okay. And there's a report to the select. And then okay. I suppose do we all to all in favour of? I'm just going for a vote. Is that it? Um, just to be. Do you want a motion? Motion, yeah. Yeah, motion to approve. I'll second it. And that's the eleven twenty-six that you're discussing. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All in favour of the. That's the last time we. Aye. Yeah. Approved. I approved. And the other one was already approved. The other yes. minutes were already approved. Yes, I think those approved. are approved yeah. with the revisions. With revisions. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. So we're done on that. So okay. now moving Clerical on. work is done. Uh, moving on to uh, discuss the next steps. Question. Oh. May I ask a question? Yeah. Before, sorry, the next steps is the selectman's letter and the follow-up. Oh, okay. That's not my question, so no, go ahead. Um, in terms of the items following up from the items submitted to the selectmen by letter and um, reaffirmed in the minutes of the November meeting, uh, have these been actioned? I suppose is my question for discussion. I will volunteer some information uh, and 
and helium, and helium might be was pretty close, might be able to give us something on it too. I don't know, but I was there today, and absolutely nothing has been done, with one exception. There is a snow stake in one stump. <laughs> I photographed it. That is all. Amelia, have you observed any activity? I have not, no. It's that one there. I have observed so, that. Let's ask Tim here if it's a contact of you about getting the highway department down there with the food truck. Yeah, what, what I would have to do first is I would have to schedule a public hearing. Mm -hmm. um, for the stumps too? For anything that way. The, part of the problem is the town does not own a stump grinder, so they would have to go out and rent one. But um, it's okay. I, I talked to James and said, this is what I'd like to do. And he said, this is probably a good time of year to do it because uh, we can get out there with a bucket truck, get up in there, take out all the um, dead limbs. I mean, the stuff there when you look at the trees where something broke and you know somebody cut something off here and left this much sticking out. So go back in, trim up all the trees, make a determination if the trimming is all that a particular tree is going to need. And then if they get up in there and see that there are some which are really in bad shape, then those would be the ones that we could suggest that those trees are removed and planted with uh, some type of new trees from the initial list that we came up with. Um, so, like I said, all I have to do is have a public hearing on it. So, just for the trimming. Right. So I, I Not talk, for the stump grinding. We can put the stump grinding in there, which I, the, there is not necessarily a need for a public hearing on that. Okay. Um, you can grind the stumps out. Um, I know they had an issue with a chipper the, you know, I don't know, 10 days ago where they were cutting some trees down that were definitely in need of coming down. We've had the hearing on it and they got those taken down. But I was going to do a combination of the upper green and the lower yes. green all at once. And have them go and just say, okay, every tree is going to be pruned. And then if there are trees that have to be removed, then we would probably have to go back and have another public hearing on the removal. Because you can do pruning, you can do removal, but technically you can't prune and then say, unless it's something that imminently, once they get up there and start looking that you know, you've got a tree this big around and all you've got is, you know, that much that's not hollowed out in the center of it, then it becomes dangerous. And if the town knows that a particular tree is dangerous and doesn't do something about it, then the town is on the hook for, you know, if somebody gets hurt. So, especially in situations like that where, you know, kids could be playing, whatever, you know. So that's what my thought is on it, do that first. I checked with Tracy and said, you know, is this going to, you know, circumvent anything that the committee's trying to do? And she said, well, I think that if this is the way to do it, get out there, check everything, and then <clears throat> once we know something needs to come down, then we can do, do that at another public hearing. I thought it was gonna be a health assessment. Well, basically that's what it's gonna be, but while you've got the bucket truck there, if you've got broken limbs or things that are dead that haven't been taken out over the years, mm -hmm. then cut those things out, prune them back, that will go a long way towards keeping trees healthy. Right. Because if you've got, and I saw it on the initial, that initial night we went down there and looked, there are some where the, the branches were broken, yeah. someone, may have just pulled them down, someone may have cut them, but you can see where some of those branches, pieces of the stump, call it, are sticking out, that they're soft and you can see where the rod is working in. So if we get that stuff out of there, and let's say the branch is three feet long, and the rod has gone in two feet, well if you cut it off at the tree, that may be what helps to save that particular tree by getting that stuff out of there. And that initial assessment and pruning back of stuff, I think, is the best way to go. Um, let's find out what we've got, take care of what we can, you know, save, and then if we have particular trees that have to come down, 
for safety reasons, then that would require a public hearing. I don't think we could do, being that it's the upper green, I don't think you could say we're going to prune everything and then go and say, oh, this one's really bad, we've got to cut it down. You know, that's going to just create a whole firestorm of people who are not happy with what we're doing. And that's, let's not stop doing that. You're saying we can prune before a public hearing? Yeah. 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 I mean, state law says that if you have to have the public hearing if you're going to prune or remove. But you have to say what you're going to do on particular trees. So best to start off with, we're going to prune every tree that's in there. We can make an assessment of which ones have to come down, if any. I mean, it, it's hard to know. I mean, there's a couple of them there that are, um, probably should get the last rights. But yeah. um, we'll do the pruning first so that we can document, OK, this is what we found on this particular tree. This tree is fine, this one's fine, this one we're gonna to have to watch, and then that one's bad, really needs to come down that one. So then the decision can be made, which I think is what most people in town were kind of looking for. I don't think they wanted us to go in and cut down every tree and then go back and replant. You know, no, that was no, that's that's that, 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 was, uh, that was way off the table. But that was the, the greeny ass thing was they were going to cut them all down. Right. Yeah, people right. were outraged. Yeah. And right. that that initially was not what was going to happen. Um, so then it became well, let's you know put all what was the first thing all sugar maples and yeah. I, yes. I, on that I said no. I mean sugar maples in quotes don't grow in southern New England anymore. It's not cold enough for Especially them. not at lower altitudes. Right. And especially where they're very touchy to road salt. So if you look at, you know, these... Well, elms are very touchy to road salt. Yeah. Too. People would say, well, you know, these trees have been here for, you know, 150 years, and, you know, they were never bothered before. And I go, yeah, but you didn't have paved roads. Yeah, that's right. So there was no need for salt. Once you started paving the roads... They didn't start salting until when? 70s, maybe? Late 60s? I Other than that, they used mostly sand. I was going to say, they used sand, because I remember that growing up in Ainsbury. Well, we had snow tires then, too. Yeah. And people put shoes <laughs> on. But that's... Okay, so when uh, when can this be done? Or do you have to have permission? You can just well, I have it. to post a public hearing. So what I have to do is come up. I've got... No, for the pruning in public, you'd have to do... You'd have to do a public hearing first. Even for the pruning? Just... Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I've got... A couple of trees on Larkin Road, um, a couple of others. So what I'm going to do is have a public hearing, and it'll be almost like in stages. We'll do the upper green and the lower green um, hearing, and then later in the hearing, we'll bring up about the trees on um, Larkin, and then there's a couple of others in town, and just put it all in one big hearing. and. Once you have the hearing, um, unless people have some kind of objection to what would be done, they would have to go to the selectman, and the selectman would, I believe, if I'm reading the, the laws right, could um, then have their own hearing to say, well, geez, people don't want the trees pruned. It's, that's fine. You know, if you don't want the trees pruned, then um, we'll just you know, wait for them all to fall oh, down on their own. But I don't think there's going to be an issue. Right. right. So I think if you just tell people, okay, we're going to prune these trees. Every tree is going to be pruned for what it needs to what degree. But then when you're up there in the bucket truck, you can look and see that, okay, that you've got a tree like this, and this area is all hollow in there. You know, how bad is it going to be? And then you can start poking around a little bit. And if you see that it's really bad, then very quickly we know which trees there are then you wind up initially posting directly on the individual tree this tree is coming down and so would you need another hearing at that point to take them down yeah right would yeah. it ever be worthwhile i don't know if this is something that um that ever takes place but would it ever make sense to just take the bucket truck out and do the health assessment and not prune and then you could consult once that was done. Then you could consolidate into one hearing on the pruning, and then the trees I, I that think come down. If you're up there in the bucket truck and you see dead branches, then you're better off just taking those branches out, you know, to 
um, safer too and give you more room to inspect. It, well, exactly. You know, if, if you have a, you could assess a, a tree in the bucket truck, but if there's dead branches, you don't know how far that goes back into the tree. Until you prune, you're saying. Right. Uh, and, and the pruning would just be the dead branches. Yeah. Yeah. Unless there's something that you look at and pretty consistently sometimes if you look at a tree and branches are growing like this, they're going to just sit there and do this over time, which is going to yeah. eat into the, the tree and okay. it, it, call it a healthy pruning to, you know, eliminate branches that might be an issue, or eliminate branches that are growing up into the power yeah. lines, but I don't think there's any power lines. <coughs> branches that grow backwards, back towards the trunk. Yeah. 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 Or branches that you know are going to be branches that are probably going to break. Um, you know, branches that come out strictly horizontal. They're not going to take snow load or ice load or anything like that. But um, oh. just finding out <laughs> what's going on with the trees there. Yeah. I mean, I don't think there's been any kind of look at pruning them back. And, uh, and when I went around this morning, the ground was littered with yes with um, debris and bits of trees all over the place so yeah. it's long over together. together now yeah. i wrote that down and um uh yeah, so uh, this is all been been, yeah. uh, on. so this has been we've already told the selectmen we want to do this so the next question is to put it into or for you i guess because yeah i mean have to post what they, what they said was you're an elected official and you can do it on you your can own. Do it. You right. Don't, you don't need us. But I also don't right. want to be doing anything that is contraindicated from what the advisory committee is looking to do. I mean, it's it's stupid to say, well, I'm going to do this, and you guys present a report that says, well, if we don't think that there's really a need to prune the trees on the upper and lower green. Oh, no, we're not yeah. going to say that. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. But you have enough. Yeah. 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 We're, uh, so I think that's the, the, the first way to go for the tree warden is to have that done. And then we have a list of trees of all different types that then we could look at and say, okay, this would be a good spot for this to put an elm tree, or this would be a good place to put an oak, or this would be a, a, a good place to put some stuff. Um, I just, well, we're going to be disbanded, so we won't have any say in that. <laughs> yeah. I also yeah. noticed we're going in the uh, We're actually signing in until June 30th on the books. On June 30th? I thought it was six months. Was six months. Yeah, I oh. doubt they're going to disband it is us. six months. They gave us six months. They told us six months, and then when they signed our appointments, it went to June 30th. I don't, I don't care. We have a six month uh, so. limit. We have a six month limit. Is that what we gave? But, uh, but, the, but we have to leave it with some something in progress and, and actions to be. We have a six month letter. Uh, can, I, can I ask a question here? Now, we sent a letter to the selectmen in, in November yes. for laying this all out, right. and we've had an open winter. How come nothing's been done? This is. Nothing's been done on what? Anything on the upper green. About the putting some gypsum down was one of our recommendations. Well, the, the gypsum, if you put that down. Is it the wrong time of year? It's the wrong time of year, basically. Okay. If, we, if we had gotten it into the, uh, the fall, um, I was hoping to get it done in the fall, but James got hung up on paving for his guys to do that. So first thing in the spring, you know, once the ground thaws, then we can get the gypsum down. But the trees, we, we, we still haven't made progress on the trees in all this time. As far as we've had an open winter. As far as pruning and stuff? Yeah. It's because there's been so many trees that have had public hearings that need to be cut down that in different parts of town. Um, there were trees on um, Larkin, there were trees on Parker <coughs> Street, there, there was some up in uh, um, Were you doing, the, were you doing the trees on uh, Middle, was it Middle or Orchard? Um, I saw some that were kind of trimmed down to the bowls. Yeah. Um, well, Boston Road. Town or was that the power well, company? Did Boston that? Road, there's two that were dead dead and they got those cut back down to um, a reasonable height and then maybe it was Boston. I don't think it was Boston. No. Well anyway. The hard part is okay. What do you do with these big tree trunks that are left? 
Yeah, well, and are they ground down or not? Barry would love them. <laughs> well, you, you can take them and cut them up yeah. and for firewood, but you know, you have to know that people are going to take them. Oh, they have, they have a list. The Jim's got a list of people that have um, agreed to accept all the tree trunks. Yeah. There was a thing in the well, yeah. posted on the yeah. town website too mm -hmm. at one mm -hmm. time. But if you've got a, a 48 inch tree and you cut the branches off and you get those all chipped up, now you have what amounts to a 10 or a 12 foot tall 48 inch diameter tree. And you know, People are gonna want it in quotes delivered, you know. So well, I don't know. There's they do, they companies do. in town that'll pick them up mm, yeah. for a fee. Yeah. I don't think so because they make money on it. Oh, they, yeah. they, 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 it it's well, it's like stumps. If you want to get rid of stumps, well, that's the, that's yeah, the, yeah, that's yeah. Good for me. yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that's sense. what they've been doing okay, with right. the, the truck all winter is catching up on all the stuff from. The previous public hearings. Right. So this is prioritized. Well, I, I feel very frustrated because we, we 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 put this letter to the selectmen in in November, hoping to get months. this all all done by this point in time, and we haven't got it done. Yeah, and at least I mean I'm I'm staggered you don't have a stump grinder because with all these trees coming down the whole. Oh, they they can run through us, you know. Yeah. yeah. Because I mean, I'm sure we can do other jobs and just include this in the process. Um, that would sort of get rid of that. Back to the gypsum, that's something that, that the ground has to be thawed yeah. or to put it on? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's the same way with lime. You can put lime down when the ground's frozen, but if you get what we've had, like a lot of rain, it, it's all going to wash into the, the lower spots, so yeah, you're going right. to fill the, fill the pond. <laughs> right. So that's something that first thing in the spring can be done, you know, just get enough. There's no frost on the ground now. And we're almost to February, so there isn't going to be any frost in the ground. Yeah, yeah, I guess it could freeze up pretty quick. Very right? unlikely. Yeah, the sun is very strong from here on out. Very unlikely, unless we get a lot of snow. Well, even if we get a lot of snow, it won't freeze. So. No. And that was that blizzard of '78. <laughs> but uh, but we've actually got the gypsum. I mean, in, uh, the in terms of the cost of doing. Yeah, that, that it's would, all big that's big. going to come out of the tree wardens. Right, okay, yeah, so yeah. That, they would set the, um, at this be particular done. meeting, they were going to get the cost to do the gypsum and to uh, fix the screen on the pond. Right. I wonder if they've, yeah, that's another has issue. anything been done about the, getting the price on gypsum to get it done? Well, the gypsum, it's a moot point right here. It's, it's, it's a moot, season. well, I don't know. I talked to James and he said there's two or three places that he does business with where they can buy the chips of oh, the rum. And same way with a lot. Uh -huh. and and is, sorry, did you say it's coming out of your budget or will it come out of James's budget? No, it'll come out of the tree wardens budget. Yeah. Okay. The chips Well it doesn't have to because we have a fifty thousand uh, dollar request from the Lutz to, to improve the upper green, so yeah, yeah, but that will probably go to, yeah. to other things. That's a lot of money. Yeah, but it does not take long to eat up that kind of money if they're going to, you know, do any grading work. Or, well, that's a good question. You yeah, know, that's, you know, it, that's ultimately what would need to be determined. Okay. Yeah. You you start looking at okay, like the the drainage. Yeah. Okay. So the drainage is going to require someone looking at it. And someone looks at it and says, oh my God, this is in horrible shape. You know, yeah. we're going to have to dig out, put a new pipe in. You know, that's going to start eating into, you know, some of the money there. It'd be the same way if you're buying trees, okay? Mm. You're going to replace, pull a rabbit out of a hat. Okay, you're going to have to replace five trees on the upper grade. Oh, more than that. 17, I believe. Yeah. So, no, I mean, that replacing them completely. But let's say you're going to do it initially in a stage. Okay, the question comes down to how big of a tree do you want to put in? Right, cost-wise, right. Do you want to put in a $300 tree and let it grow, or do you want to put in a $4,000 tree to have something that looks like something? Right. And then when you go to put that size of a tree in, you need specialized equipment to... Yeah. bring the tree to the site 
and then specialized equipment to actually plant it. And so you could take what is a $5,000 tree and turn it into a $20,000 tree with transportation and planting and all of that stuff. So okay. that, you, yeah. can, you can eat into that money. Okay, I'll make a comment on that. I, I would highly yeah. recommend uh, what we use where I used to work, uh, three to four inch caliper tree, which is not an expensive tree, but it has a great chance of taking. The bigger the tree, the more maintenance is required to make sure it grows. And they have a higher chance of failure. And I would recommend a relatively inexpensive tree. They're probably gonna cost, I don't know, today, maybe $500, I don't know. Yeah, depends it, upon the tree. It depends on the tree yeah. and you know what's available. Because the biggest problem right now with large caliper trees is nobody was planting them from 2007 to 2013. The, the demand wasn't there. People no. weren't buying trees. Then all of a sudden, 2013, it's like someone just dropped a switch and turned everything on and then construction picked up and everybody was looking for the big stuff. And the, the nurseries that would be, say in Connecticut, that would be an easy way of getting it, whatever they had for stock disappeared instantly. They were bringing stuff in from Oregon and you know, trucking it into Massachusetts and wherever, you know, looking for the trees. So it, it takes X number of years to plant, call it little trees, and turn them into a three to four inch caliper. So you figure 13 was what, seven years ago? So it might be another three to five years before there's sufficient stock that they can just grab and say, okay, yeah, we can do this way. But part of it's going to be, what do the citizens in the town want? You know, we could say a, a three to four inch tree is fine. And you put that in the ground and people are looking at, okay, we took out a 36 inch diameter tree and now you're putting a three to four inch well, tree. Well, they're going to say, you took out a 60 foot tree and you gave us a 13 foot tall tree. Yeah, yeah. right. And so right. It's, that just depends but on But it has a much better chance of survival. Yeah. And also, I think we were going to promote not doing it all in one go, as you said. It's sort of like yeah, I think it's over time. So, if you look at, get rid of the for instance, the elms, where they were planted. Well, again, I grew up in Amesbury, and they had where the the library is on both sides of that street, all the way down. It was American elms, mm -hmm. and just one way after another, after another, those trees got picked off by. Dutch elm and trees. Well, high road in Newbury. Mm. Yeah. High road was all elms the whole length. Mm. And after after Hurricane Carol in 54, there were hardly any left. Yeah. And you look at like ash trees, you've got... Um, oh, that's what they planted. That's what yeah. the state planted. Emerald ash borers. Mm. Well, yeah. ash was supposed fast, to be... Fast it, growing. Yeah. Fast growing, yeah. hardwood, no problems at all with anything. And, you know, you've got almost every type of plant now has some particular disease, insect, or whatever. Yeah. So you have a better chance of things, you know, growing and surviving if you don't do a monoculture of, okay, let's, yeah, absolutely. let's, right. let's do all whatever it happens to be. Right. You know, at least yeah. three types, minimum. Oh, okay, People seem to be onto that. They, yeah. at, at the forum even, they were like, yeah. You know, oh great! You have more than one. You know, you're talking and about more than one tree. Native trees too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. yeah, yeah, native trees that survive this area, and not something from somewhere else that may or may not make it. And especially when people don't realize how low we are there. Mm. Yeah. You know, you come down the hill from like the mouth. It's quite a ways down, but it doesn't seem that way until you start dipping down. You really do dip down a hill there. Oh, and then if you go by and you start heading from the upper green to the lower green, if you watch that road, it gradually goes up. Oh. You get up near the uh, the DPW barn. It, oh, that's gravel hill. Yeah. 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 So it's all it's all stuff that has to be taken into consideration. Like some of the stuff that was on this uh, the meeting that was on at right. the, the library. Oh, yes, um, so it was our list of plans. It's 11, 21, 19, it says <clears throat> at the top of the page. 
and there's things in here that people want. Oh, that, that yeah, that was the, this is one person's. Yeah, thing. yeah. That that you can't plant anymore in Massachusetts for shrubs. You know, the burning bush. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The yeah. privet hedges. That, this was just one person. So yeah. Oh, let's get a sequoia. Yeah. yeah that, Oh, yeah, right. yeah, let's try that one. Let's, let's see. You want to you blow through the $50,000? We'll, we'll get a sequoia brought out from California. Um, but that's, you know, they're caught up now on cutting back on the trees that right. needed to be taken care of. Oh, so let's do it. So, so yeah. can we, uh, because we can't put a recommendation in on this. Well, I don't, I don't know, because could, like, could I make ago. a suggestion around where we just next steps from here, a straw yeah. man, and then people can okay. poke holes as they yeah. like. So um, so a straw man would be that we start, based on all of the discussions and input that we've had up until this point, start putting together basically a master list of what we ultimately want to submit. So. That would be things like the the drain in the pond, grinding the, way, the, the pond stumps, is an inch and a half higher than it should be. But grinding the stumps and you know the full and list of what we want, and yeah. realizing that system. as part of that, given that we don't have the tree health assessment, we have to have some caveats in there like replace X Y Z stumps, which we know where the stumps are today, with X Y Z trees and. To the extent that additional trees need to come down, we would recommend replacing them with X, Y, Z. But basically, start to put together a comprehensive plan, and then once we've all aligned on the, what that plan is, schedule another public forum to go over that plan. Because right. I don't think I don't know that we need to wait until Tim, you have no. done the hearing. I think we can basically have a contingent replace the stumps that are stumps, because we know what those are right now. And then for whatever trees in the future need to come down, we would recommend this short list of, of trees to replace them. Based you on you the get more than that though, because you've got trees that have been taken down over the years where there's nothing there to write. Right, yeah, and I guess when I say stump, I mean where they're missing as well. Okay. Ultimately, I think part of it comes down to things like, all right, are you going to call it raise up the pond, for want of a better term? In other words, you know, get it a little higher up so that it's, that was some of the talk that was- It's too high point. now. It's an inch and a half too high today. The and then is the baseball diamond going to stay down this end? I think we've pretty well yeah, established yeah, that's, that. Okay. Yeah. That's all right, that's so then, it, then, here, then, it, then it becomes, <laughs> all right, what kind of trees would you like in particular areas? And I, I think it's a, a problem that you run into where people look at something the size of the evergreen, and so you take and you plant a particular tree, and people will say, well, gee, you know, that's a small tree. Why don't you put another one here? Ah, yeah, right. And then you have to say, okay, this tree ultimately is going to grow to 85 feet tall and 45 feet wide. So that would mean, let's say 40, because that makes the math easier. Yeah. You need 20 feet on either feet. side of that trunk right. Right. for a tree to grow. Right. Now, if you're going to put another one in, you have to look at, okay, where is it going to be? Is this tree that you're putting in going to shade this one, which is going to affect how this one grows. So you may have to put fewer trees in so that each tree has a, a better likelihood of growing than to try and put more trees in. If you want to uh, fill an area, then that's where the shrubs would come in. You could put shrubs in certain areas out there that could get to be fairly good size, but would not they have an issue tree. with you know, trees fighting for the size that they need to grow to. Well, as you probably know, standard street tree spacing is between 30 and 50 feet, 40 is an average. Yeah. But of course, there's it's a, it's a variation because you can't always plant it where you want to plant it. I mean, you might have a hydrant or right. uh, yeah. wires or whatever. So, but standard street tree spacing is, is 30 to 50 feet. And you just pretty well described why. Yeah, and yeah. The, the problem being in many cases is if you look at 
where trees were taken down. A good example is 113 going through West Newbury. If you've been up through there, they've taken a ton of trees down. And the state took them down, but these were trees that were planted before the road was paved. And yeah. so those trees growing out in there, the, the roots were out in the road, the water got in there, whatever fertilizer got into there. But once they paved the road, now you've taken away the root system for taking up water and stuff. It's basically whatever it called the groundwater would be. And those trees eventually died off. Yeah. So if the state's gonna replant trees along that road, then they've got to look at, okay, you've got now a more narrow area for the root system. And, <coughs> excuse me, if you're gonna put more trees in there, you've got to put things in with a root system that's probably more shallow that spreads out this way rather than like a maple or an oak where those roots went down into the ground and then they paved over them. And I don't think anybody really thought out the whole process of that. Um, but, um, again, going back to where I grew up in Ainsbury, they had maples that were planted along the side of the road, but it was between where the sidewalks were, and of course the sidewalks were full-size poured cement, and then you had this relatively big area where you put trees in and the road was out here, and you know, everything was fine. There'd be no issues with the trees putting their roots out there. Well, then when they started paving streets, then that root system, basically what the tree had was that space between the edge of the sidewalk and the edge of the blacktop area for water and nutrients and everything to get down to where the root system is, and that's when the tree started failing. So if you take that and extrapolate that out to the upper green, it's like, okay, how much of this is gonna be an area where somewhere along the line you wanna put walkways in and things like that um, to make it more pedestrian friendly, easier for people to walk, um, if that's what you want to do, then that would have ultimately an effect on where the trees are. Tree roots could, you know, lift up the walkways and things like that. So, um, but for now, we really do need to keep in mind that we have to have that spacing based on what the ultimate height is. It's going to look foolish to most people at first because there's going to be these potentially huge gaps in between trees where people say, well, geez, you could put another one in there and another yeah, one over I, there, and that's well, just... Well, I, I look at the streets of Newryport where they planted trees on, on High Street in Newryport. I don't and know And they've done just what you said. They've got them about 15 to 20 feet apart, and that's, you know, eventually they're going to have to cut down every other yeah. one. Yeah, on that street, too. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> to yeah. But interesting, also, uh, in, in, in New England, we have a history here of planting in the strip between the sidewalk and the street. Hmm. In other parts of the country, they plant outside of the sidewalk, and they actually, in, in lots of places, they have a 10-foot easement on private property where they plant the trees. Now, that doesn't matter to us because we, we're dealing with a, with a park here, basically. Yeah. But yeah, you're, you're better off to set them outside. Well, if the street is here and the sidewalk is there, you want to plant them outside of that area, into the, into the, into the, into the green one. And especially, <clears throat> If you look at how the trees are along the outside edge near the road, uh, on, call it Green Street, um, and then also on uh, High Road, you, you want to start pulling those trees back closer, call it to the center of the green, so that yeah. there's less salt issues. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And initially that may look funny to people, but yeah. ultimately when the, the older trees succumb either through old age or through damage from salts or storms, whatever, whatever, storms, yeah. yeah. Then the other trees have got a much better chance of, you know, continuing to grow. Um, I drove by and looked at some of the um, white pine that are on uh, the lower green. Oh, and, yeah, a lot, you know, quite a few. Of those, yeah. A lot of those um, would benefit from pruning, but definitely, with a lot the of those are probably benefit from coming down. They're so large now. Well, the other thing is, Possibly for the longest them. time, <laughs> they were parking the pickup trucks and yeah. boat trailers there, oh, yeah. and that would take <laughs> compact, <laughs> compact the soil, yeah. and that's where we got those out of there. Yeah, so. the gypsum will help like make this. that better. The historical uh, commission pushed big on that to get that roped off, so to speak. Yeah. Mm. And 
that's why they that's why the trees are damaged on the upper green slopes of the parking. Yeah. Underneath. Or well, if you want an example of what I'm guessing is what you're saying about spacing and all that. I mean that section from the ball field that um, up Hanover to Green is like there's no trees there yeah. at all now. All used to be trees there. Yeah. You can see, like, and we walked it, all the stumps are there, and why? Because yeah. they were too close to the road, I'm assuming, yeah. for the salt. Yeah. And, pro and it yeah, seems exactly. like they were too close together. There was too many trees there. Yeah, I mean, um, if, if you're figuring out. Well, originally they were well spaced out. They were big trees, they were well spaced out originally. Yeah. I remember. Well, maybe, you know, parents parking on top of the roots and stuff. Cause going to the baseball game. Yeah. You know, there could be a million things, you know. Right. When was the car accident that hit the tree and damaged the tree in 1954 and, you know, nobody did anything about it. Um, but the, the thing that people tend to forget is trees ultimately have a lifespan. And, you know, at some point in time, you know, trees, you know, have to come down because they've reached that you know they've whether given it all they've got. it's a whether it's a, <laughs> okay. a poplar that's got the 20 year lifespan or the oak that you know should have the 75 year lifespan eventually maybe 200 yeah, yeah. and that was <clears throat> well i think we can put that in our recommendations that the sighting of the trees is not necessarily where the old ones were right we can you know, there's, there's space. Yeah, we talked about moving 15 feet off of yeah. the line now. Yeah. And isn't there a, some kind of a law with the highway? Uh, because Route 1 is a, is a state highway? Right, Aren't yeah. they supposed to be a certain Well, they, they, those are further back. Further back they would have, call it a right of way, for want of a better term, off of High Road. And so. That's a street layout. Yeah. Right. We need to know where that is yeah, so that way. when. The time comes to plant. If that tree is going to grow to 40 feet, you don't want it 20 feet off the right of way. You want it 40 feet off the right of way. So that way, when the whole branches grow out, it's not going to be out there where the the power company is going to have to prune or anything along that way. It's not going to be subject to more salt damage from the road. So that's going to require a bigger offset so that it becomes, you know, town trees that the town's going to maintain and have the best luck at them growing. So ah, and that area will also come into into conflict with the ball field. Hmm. Because if you plant it too far off the road, it's going to interfere with playing ball, possibly. Yeah, and it, at that point, <laughs> then you have to make the determination, okay, what's the, the highest and best use for that area at, uh, um, call it green and, what's that, Hanover? Mm -hmm. So, okay, that section right there. Maybe the trees should be along Green Street and nothing along Hanover because you're going to need place for people to park cars if you're going to have baseball games there and things like that. Uh, yeah, that, that comes park. back to street layout. Yeah. And uh, we lay the streets out, have the surveyor, have a survey, have it surveyed, that costs some money. But have it surveyed, and then you know where the boundary line is between the road and the green. Hmm. So if you establish that, I have a feeling, I have a hunch, there's probably at least 10 foot of, of grass there that's probably part of the street right away. Yeah. And you could establish some kind of a barrier there so that they park in that area and not on the green. Well, that was my thought. You know, if you can get people, um, if they need parking for games and things like that, but you also need parking for access. So if you're going to, I know there's that section where it was set up for the musters. Um, if you start planting trees along Hanover um, and they're going to try and bring the equipment in onto the green there for whatever reason, um, you need space for getting that equipment in there. Well, they come in hands up way. Yeah. There's that little road, that's how they get in there. Yeah. So, those are all the things to think about. You know, if, if you're going to have baseball games and you know you're going to have cars. And where are the cars going to park? Right. And
and should there be a designated area for cars parking somewhere for those activities, whether it's people who want to sit and, you know, just sit in the park and let the kids play, you know, where do the cars get parked? Do they get parked on the green street side? Um, you know, if, if you make the park, we call it the upper green, more of a park, and maintain the integrity of the green, people are going to come, they're going to want to be around the pond, they're going to want to play baseball, they're going to want to do whatever they're going to do, where are the cars going to be? And that to me is, is a big thing. It, it, it seems foolish to be planting trees in areas where people are going to park cars because then you're going to be compacting the soil again and it's going to be harder for the trees to survive. So is the idea that it's better to have fewer trees, more strategically placed, call it deeper into the green as opposed to trying to line them all up on call it Green Street. You know, I mean, it's, I'm sure along Green Street we're going to find a certain number of trees that have to come down. And then along some of the trees that are closer to high road that are probably going to have to come down. Well, at least but, one, yeah. But, but one. you know. Mushrooms up we won't know until they're assessed. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So is it worth just to move the ball forward, starting to put together, like starting to compile that recommendation list so we can start moving toward the... Yeah, yeah. 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 I think the issue of parking is, you know, a big issue. Most of it's done along Hanover Street anyway, so yeah. there's just a lot of stumps yeah. there, not a lot of trees left. Yeah. So maybe and that, once they take the stumps out and they can just take the stumps out and we either, maybe you turn it into more of a, a graveled area yeah. for people to park instead of well a lot of it is now yeah yeah you look at it yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah from my i mean this is just one person's perspective but my perspective would be that it's going to be sort of hard to force people to put you know they're going to sort of park where they park and we can take it i think it's a good idea to take it into account in terms of the trees but ultimately, I mean, it's just sort of the green and the road, and people just sort of line up along the road, and yeah. you know, it seems fine to me. Just so long as the trees, we were cognizant of where people do park, because we know the typical areas where cars are yeah, parked. Yeah, and that's the thing. If, yeah. if this is typically where people are going to want to park, you could put some shrubs in there if you want something there for color or vegetation or whatever. It's a heck of a lot easier to replace a shrub if somebody runs it over with a car than it is a tree if somebody runs it over. So you can put something like Shadlow, which would grow 20 yeah. feet. Yeah, and just have stuff in there. And that, again, that's the left field baseline, so yeah. you can't really go too far out with uh, trees and shrubs. Hmm. There is uh, one other so option. So. We could get rid of the ball field. <laughs> you got a reaction down the end of the line. The ball field's been there since the 1880s. The historical commission would be very unhappy. You can throw that one out at the next public forum for the general. Uh, and we'll bring the bean bags. <laughs> okay, right. But planting shrubs might be an added thing to say, like, where the guardrail stops. Yeah. yeah. Like behind the bench, maybe, the yeah. benches. Yeah. You know, even use or something that's not going to hurt anybody if they fall into it, but it will certainly add a little layer of protection behind yeah. the benches, yeah. a couple of benches there, just, hmm. you know, a little safety thing. Like, you see the shrub at the point you say, right. oh, gee, there's a bench here, and the kids could be falling off the back of it, waiting for their turn to bat and run them over. Use aren't native. <laughs> Oh well, just I'm just saying that they're soft, <laughs> and they don't grow that tall. Well, they can, but they yeah, don't. They can. Oh, they can. Yeah. They can be trimmed anyway. But, yep. So okay. Yeah. So yeah, I guess maybe it would be helpful if you could, if you would um, make a suggested list of tree replacements that would be healthy for that area, not like say we're going to do this, this, and this, but just throw them yeah, out. I mean, Instead they, of the 45,000 that we keep getting. Yeah, it's just it's be there. Part there. of it's yeah. going to be, okay, which trees come down? Yeah. yeah. And, okay, so you've got 
let's pick on Green Street again. So you got a lot of Green Street and you got a lot of trees planted along. This one comes out and you've got a tree here and a tree here. Just because there was a tree there originally that had to be taken down does not necessarily mean that it's a good idea to replace it with something else. You may need that spacing in between the other two trees to give them a healthy area to grow. You know, to what degree is there competition between all these trees that are now, call it reasonably close together. So, yeah, it may be advisable to just say, okay, we're not going to put anything back in here. We're going to let these trees continue to grow. And then if one of them happens to die off at some point in time, then that one can be replaced. Or it may be that this one is bad and this one is bad and this one is fine. Then take this one out and take this one down, but leave this one to have space to grow to its ultimate height. So just because there's three trees in a given area now does not necessarily mean that that's the wise choice of putting three trees back in there over time. But have you measured the spacing between those trees? I have not measured well, it. I think I have, and I believe they were at least 50 feet apart. Yeah. yeah they are pretty spaced out. And depending on what you want to replace them yeah, with. Yeah, no. and yeah, you're right, 50 feet. How, yeah. how big the tree, how ultimately big the trees are going to be. Uh, yeah. to allow them to have the space that they need. Because some of that's going to be starting to, if you're going to not have the things affected by the salts, say, on Green Street, so you're going to move them 15 to 20 feet in, um, how big of a particular tree do you want to put in to take up, call it, space in the rest of the green? You know, it's just a, it's a case of, making decisions on an individual basis on how we want to plant the trees back in there again. But the first thing's first, it's like, okay, let's get this cut yeah, down. So it's scale of the Oh, no, they aren't all going to be exact, no. Yeah. Okay, so um, uh, the, uh, we did come up with a list of trees that we submitted to the public forum, which seemed quite good. I don't know whether you saw all that. If not, we'll make sure you get copies. And most of them came from your original list as well. Well, I was going to say, the original the, list was definitely the native things, but going back to... Um, the additional suggestions, you know, oh, well, okay. sugar maples. No, I think you're going by this guy who sent yeah, you. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah. I don't Can think you, you should ignore spend that time because that, that was yeah. uh, these. Some of these are not even burning bush. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're yeah. not even calm. We, they, yeah. we just had that for tonight. That yeah. nobody's really looked at it before tonight. What you're looking at? That yeah. was a, a specific that was, letter sent in. That yeah. With suggestions. Yeah, I think that since we. Gave a lot of thought, you know, gave Tim your input in discussing. We, we narrowed it down, yeah, to the ones that Jan has. I feel like yeah, that's the list that, that we should work on. Right. Well, that's all I've got here. Rather than we very narrowed down. Can we, can yeah. we send you that latest list as a refresher and then you can yes. confirm this? Yeah. Okay. Well, so for instance, one of the things oh, on this Miranda. list is black walnut. Oh, Jim Moran. Well, black walnut roots, as they grow out, they release a toxin that can damage so the grass on the upper yeah. green. That's so that wall is a messy. Yeah. <laughs> that's the list. They spread like, oh. I, I remember one at yeah. my grandparents' house in Pennsylvania. Jane, you mind if I copy those down before you? Just make sure I've got them. And black wall and I'm native to here. They got yeah. further south of the earth. But... And oh. pretty much any of the maples that they we're on that list. Yeah, I did, but I just Scotch pine. Down. Scotch pine is miserable to, to grow with. Yeah, yeah um, I think. Um, yeah, I wouldn't go off that. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, I'm just saying there's things on here. Well, beach, I mean, 
that open area up there is a, probably a perfect spot to grow, you know, American beech. Doesn't that have a shallow roof? Not particularly. I mean, uh, I, I had, when I was living in Salisbury, we bought a house, and there was a, an American beech that was at the back of the house, and this thing had to have been, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know, and how big it was, and there was the septic system that was put in the back of the house failed immediately. Well drained. And it had to be something that had to be dug up and redone, and it got into the roots of that beach, and within two years that beach was dead. Yeah. So it's definitely in an area that is uh, built next to the I guess some of my neighbor had a huge beach tree down where, what was it, Wiltshire is now? What was it? Yeah, it was a huge beach, oh, and please. we used to play under it, and the roots were right there on the surface. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, beaches are huge. You need more than 50 feet between beach trees. Yeah, exactly. And they really yeah. spread. Right? These are the ones that were the finalists okay. that okay. we had aligned on. Right. Uh, you plant beach, you plant a, an individual tree. Right. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. I made a beach. Okay, so. It takes forever to get a Right, okay, so we've um, got a preliminary suggestion. Unless you want, I mean, you could also come No, I mean, that. everything but that's they, there can be utilized, <coughs> excuse me, and, uh, in that area to right. be and there we'll, in some way, shape, or form. Any of those trees, yeah. they all, okay. Yeah. And this is all really, all the information is from the, um, the public forum we had. You wrote up <clears throat> yep. discussion points. We uh, did, and um, a few people came back as saw in our letter with a few more, which, yeah, I got. And then the second page was the yeah, arbitrary like, names. Like Linden. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, they're all on this. Yeah. We, from the, the final bridge. version was sweet birch, eastern hawthorn bean, red maple, tupelo, linden, honey locust, mulberry. So that was a combination mulberry, of yeah. Yeah. ten well, recommendations. Uh, mulberries and, and lindens like don't get too big, but tupelos get immense. Mm. They'll get over 100 feet, right? Yeah. 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 They, they really are underutilized. I mean, at, at one point in time, people planted a lot of them, but then they just kind of fell out of favor. It's not something that, you know, was... Is it much that bothers them? I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. Well, one. Which one was that? Two balls. Two balls. Two balls. <laughs> we're, 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 we're kind of at the northern extreme of where you can grow a two balls. Well, it's getting warmer, so maybe I know, I know, I know. I'm pretty sure you can plant live oaks, but then you'll only be able to plant about four. <laughs> they spread so much. <laughs> you couldn't plant live oaks. <laughs> well, we bought for the front yard of the house a katsura, yeah. which most people never grew katsura, but I was always fascinated. I'm not familiar with it. Yeah. And it, nothing, when the gypsy moths came back, there was not one on there. They just don't like it. And the thing has gotten to its full height, and uh, we've got to go out and start pruning it out a little bit to you know get some more space underneath. But it's it's gorgeous in the fall and nothing that I've seen so far even remotely bothers it. Uh, but it's not a native. Yeah. You know, it's a tree well, from That's why nothing bothers it. Right. It's <laughs> Probably. From China. Well, if you look at the elm, nothing bothered the elm. Yeah. Until right. the Dutch elm disease got introduced right. and then it was all down. Which came in, yeah. <laughs> and one of those things that I think is this article that was in the um, the Daily News in November and talks about the elms that are on in the, <clears throat> that they what what they put back into um, new report oh, yes. and it said some of them are the actual um, cultivars that were bred from the elms that survived yeah and they worked with the Elm Research Institute in Keene, New Hampshire. Yeah, I think originally it started in Hanover uh, when they did that. <clears throat> and they came up with a bunch of different varieties of elm 
but it's it's the test of time type of thing on those. They, they haven't been, in my opinion, in the ground long enough yet to know, okay, are they gonna be bothered by Dutch elm yeah. disease? I mean, if you figure that there's not, as far as native elms go, any of them around. Well, there are some around. Yeah, and not many. No. But is that gonna be an issue where whatever the, <clears throat> diseases that affected the native elms get into these things and maybe these plants survive it. Maybe they don't. Um, but, you know, I, anybody who says, you know, they want to do all elms in an area like that, I'd go, oh, yeah, you know, right. Well, that was, a, that was one thing that people pretty much all said the same thing. They don't want, they didn't want all one kind of tree. <coughs> and just for the same reason. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, you don't wipe out one thing and the whole green is bit. What, what well, good was that? 20 years ago, people would have said, oh, plant ash trees, you know, nothing bothers ash trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now all of a sudden, emerald ash borer yeah. shows up and boom, I mean, Devastated. Ohio, I mean, <clears throat> there's areas out there where, I think it was Ohio, where they used to make baseball bats out of ash. Yeah. yeah. They can't grow the trees anymore. So what do they make the baseball bats out of? Maple. Yeah. And they all break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> no, maple. Oh, yeah, that's a, yeah, but no, they make, make them out of maple today because they're a little lighter and they break. <laughs> um, well, we flew down on the list just for, you know, one as well. I just, I just I had, to, I saw this info and I figured I'd just yeah. present yeah. it. That it's would not be like something I have any personal interest in Where you can take an area ball field down here, you go all the way down the far end, come in X number of feet, put an elm in there. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, for years, they've put lights on Christmas tree in that area, and that tree has gotten a little shaky. And, um, <laughs> the uh, freak. Yeah, so. Well, it's better than the one next to it. Well, the one next to it's no. got, got to come down. Well, yeah. next was the one he's talking that about, I believe. That's I mean, what, what if you... The giant Jolly Brown tree? Yeah, they yeah. started by putting lights on that one. Yeah. Right? yeah. Maybe plant something down the far end, you know, closer to Parker Street, where that's where the, call it Christmas tree, would go. Or closer out towards the road. You know, just all those things that can be planned on if people want yeah. to do that. Nice spruce. Mm. <coughs> right. Sorry. Well, we, do we have to get into getting a landscape architect to come in and design this whole thing? Not necessarily, not unless they're going to change a whole lot of stuff. The whole green ER thing, they had a regular landscape architect and he designed a whole well, new the, thing for the green and that didn't go over so good, I think. So. No, I, think I, I think our idea is, uh, thing we're supposed to do is just Get some maintenance done on the yeah. property. I mean, Myself. technically, my yeah. degree is yeah. landscape yeah. architecture. Yeah. Oh, so my so degree yeah. is from yeah. University of Massachusetts. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I'm mistaken. I did Christmas tree, and then my whole idea was to become a park yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, like yeah. Everybody else does. Uh, oh, yeah. I graduated in '74. Do you remember what 1974 was? <laughs> the first Arab oil embargo. <laughs> <laughs> There's no jobs in the national parks then. Yeah. <laughs> so I took a temporary job in a garden center. Were well, you an odd oh. or an even license plate? <laughs> <laughs> I actually worked in a gas station. To help I can remember sleeping in line while after I dropped my mother off at work at 7 oh, o'clock wow. in the mornings. And I'd bring a pillow because I figured, you know, I might, might as well be comfy. Wow. <laughs> Coffee wow. and donuts. Wow. The oil oh, bottles. Um, right now, ours is more a, a restoration and maintenance rather than a complete yeah. landscape right. project. Yeah. Which uh, maybe they have a budget. I think we should concentrate on yeah. that. Right? So and exactly. So it would we, be nice to get something plants and, and or not very big shrubs around the monuments. The yes. Especially by the they need where the flagpole area is. That's yeah. uh, and that's all stuff that can be done, um, but. Is there going to be any physical changes in the green where this part gets raised, this part gets lowered, 
you know, those are the kind of things that if that's going to be done, then it doesn't make a lot of sense to plant shrubs in areas right. that might be colored. Yeah. Well, that problem is primarily in the ball field area, the yeah. open area. Yeah. And we're hoping we hoping haven't hoping planted it. anything there yeah. anyway. Yeah. We're hoping the gypsum will help take care of the ponding, right? Well, I would love to see that pond get back to the no, level it's supposed to be. If you look at the pond today, no, I mean the ball field, it the looks, pond yeah, on the yeah. field itself. If you look at the pond today, it's over full, and it should have been back down to where it goes. But if you look at the outlet, that's the uh, it's about this out. far above the bottom of the outlet, so it's plugged up somewhere in the drainage system. But by the pond being high, the groundwater it makes the groundwater yeah, high, and that's yeah. why there's a there's flooding in the middle here. You see where this channel is? Yep. Because there is yeah. A, yeah. a great yeah. pond growing there yeah. right now. So we've got to get some pond back down to the level it's supposed to be. But that's a water department maintenance thing. Because mm. there is a blockage there somewhere. There must be. There must be something. So I, it's not really... I was blaming the grate, and, and the grate is going to get plugged up later, because I was right there today. And, and it's all the leaves right on the bottom waiting to get stirred up and get in that little fine grate. Well, well that's, again, that's all part of the maintenance. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, so. Yeah. Which doesn't seem to happen. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, I mean, that's that becomes, something we're going to put in as recommendation. Right. And that becomes right. something that has to be part of, call it an annual or right. biannual um, type of thing. Because there hasn't been any done. Yeah. Annual. Well, it wasn't, I don't think, regarded as a high priority. No, no you're right. And so, what things in any town all of a sudden become a higher priority because people say, we really want this taken care of. You know, 10 years ago, what did anybody want to do with the Upper Green? Nothing. Well, that's the problem. Yeah, nothing. 20 years ago, same thing, yeah. yeah. So, if it isn't done, you know, then that's the issue. It's like trees in town. You know, the calls have come in, and I've said it before. If we just take a street or two or three streets in town each year, go down through, mark the ones that we want to take down, the ones that we want to prune up, and have the public hearing and just say, okay, we're going to do XYZ Street this year. And then you just go through and you get everything clean back up and fix back up, and you know, that'll go a long way towards taking care of the issues. And it's the same way with the green. If you don't go in there each year, prune things up, get things straightened out, know which trees are gonna be the major issues. Um, you know, as far as removing stumps, um, James can rent one of those to exactly. you know, okay. take them out. And exactly, and you had the great idea. I mean, I thought of it too. When I went by the lower green, I said, well, oh, we got stumps here too. They can do them all in one day. Yeah, yeah. well, it might take... Might take two days. Yeah, yeah. Well, depending on how many stumps you've got. But, you know, yeah, the ones on the lower green are pretty small. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of muckers on the upper green, but they're pretty soft too. Yeah, well, take pretty rough. Long to get them out and then... But at least we can get this on track and going so you can do the public hearings or whatever you need to do yeah. and, and doesn't stop us from getting together with the lists and having you review the trees. Yeah, it's just I'm a case of... I'm worrying about the cost as well. Well, if the trees need to be replaced, which ones? That's yeah. the, the, probably the first thing. You know, if you have to take trees down, then you can right. look at where the trees need to go. Okay. Okay. And, and then, you know, the pricing on that, it come up with that, only. and then you look at, okay, if this $50,000 and we need trees, what does the town as a body want to do? Do you want to put that money into just trees, or do you want to put that money into, you know, fixing okay, up the yes. ball diamond? Do you want to put some of that money in towards fixing the level of the pond? You know, it wouldn't take long to... You know, eat up $50,000. Yeah, sure. But well, I think we, we want to get all the facts in so that we can go to put the whole presentation to the selectmen. This is what it's, this is what the deal is. So much for the trees cost this, so much for all the shrubs, this, this, and this. So we've got all the options, whether the trees are very young and immature, or whether they're a little bit older and 
big you know you see you've got you've got the idea that you know, these are 10 foot trees or 50 foot trees and stuff yeah like that. and i so think there's going to be a lot of public input on that yeah and so we can we can then have the next public hearing and, and do a little bit more than we did last time by actually saying right these are the these are the various options yeah right. trees Absolutely. of this age you know cost this we've got this money that will absorb so much of it we need to do the shrubs we need to deal deal with all the other things that were on the list as well which are all yeah. good ideas yeah. like it, getting, it, getting rid of the keys getting rid of doing the flagpole um, cleaning up the walkways there's all all these things we we'll all need doing i mean not necessarily all in one go but we, could, we then throw it to the selectmen to then sign off on right prioritizing. Yeah, I agree. It seems to me that the next step is getting the proposal together like a pretty well thought out, comprehensive one yeah. to put to the public in a public forum. And then after That's that, it. revise based on that and then submit. Nice and then we're, we're done mm -hmm. and it's into their hands to say, yeah. right, those, and then they'll instruct you. You know what you've got to do, and then instruct whoever they need to on the public work side to deal with the ponds. But yeah. we've got everything now. Right. We don't so instruct any of it. No. Just select them. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So they, we give them the list, which is thoroughly thought out exactly as you said. So um, we sort of want to leave this with your action is to go through that those list of trees and sort of. Yeah. We don't know how many we're going to need yet. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, and but part of them, it, it's going to be some of them need more sun, some of them right. are more shade tolerant. Right. So uh, until you've decided, okay, this tree is coming down, this is what the exposure that the tree is getting. Oh, by the way, what's the soil like underneath there? Yeah. You know, is it a tree that needs real good drainage? Is it a tree that prefers having more moisture around its root system? Those are and then the ultimate size of the plant, sun exposure. Okay, all those things come into play as far as what you're going to put in there. Would, so, it, would it, just on that point, would it be worthwhile um, in either the next meeting or the meeting following for us to meet again at the green? And because the, the trees that are already either stumps or non existent because they were gone years ago, we could walk those perimeters and Sort of if you were able to come to work with you to, to say okay here here and then we've got our list and, and think through like what on that list might work and start to put together a part of that's going to depend on digging some holes to find out what the soil is like in those particular areas oh, okay, okay. Um, you know the old thing is you don't plant a tree because you like it you plant a tree because that's what's going to grow in that your great grandchildren are kind of like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you, you plant a, a tree for you know your, your grandchildren. That's essentially what it comes down to. So if um, and I'm, some of them would, must be faster growing than others. Okay. Oh yeah. Well, tr pretty much the faster the tree grows, the shorter its lifespan is going to be. Right. You know. So if you're looking for trees that are more permanent types of trees, then you're probably gonna to want to, you know, get some of the things like the, the red maples and some of the other things that um, you can plant that will be slower growing and slower being all relative. I mean, in some yeah, cases, right. you know, these trees can put out six inches really a fast. year of growth or they can put out three feet of growth a year on the branches. Um, so it's, <coughs> excuse me, making sure that we get, you know, an assessment on the particular trees that are there, decide. Those are triangular trees. And then taking out the, the trees that need to come out if and when they come out. What needs to come out. Yeah. Yeah, it's more of a, call it almost like a edge of the wetlands type of yeah, so those right. areas oh, yeah. where the soil holds yeah, they, they grow of water, then they, they grow can. well near the pond. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know. Okay. Right. Is the is the pond lined, cement lined? So it's just yeah, I it's clay. Clay. Okay. So actually, at one point, they broke through the clay there. 
it just this long time when I was a kid, and they had to put clay in it. <laughs> well, that, that was bottom. that was one of my first thoughts when we talked just now about you know things that would grow close to the pond. It's like okay, well if that's cement line, and you've got tree roots pushing through the cement. It's not going to take long no, for the pond no, to drain no, itself. No. So, okay. No, no concrete there. Yeah. Well, on the on the wall. Yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> okay. But if you want a fast growing it's, tree, uh, you can plant a, because I got a minute of quaking aspen, and, and, oh, yeah. and in 10 years you'll have 30 feet high. Easy. Yep. <laughs> and then 10 years after that, it's dead. Be time to cut it down. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. Actually, it'll <laughs> blow over first. <laughs> Snap it on But I, I mean, I'm, I think what I was, I'm like kind of asking is like, like just as Ian over street side as an example there's like nothing there anymore yeah. right? and maybe there won't be be getting too much over there and that right? is bald but it looks bald it, but it looks naked and that's but, the determination yeah. to make you know, you know you, so do we can we get something that's that might grow you know a little faster than like forever in a day and give a little bit of shade but without blocking everything from the from the field just give a little shade for the and make it look Again, a little pretty. How far in off of Hanover Street right. does the but, tree have to come so it's not affected by the salt and anything? And is that going to interfere with um, the ballpark? Yeah, the ballpark. So I mean, with that would probably need something more than just so. maybe grew a little straighter than oh, something well, that's yeah. you know going to drape and give you plenty of shade and. Look more majestic, I guess. Yeah. So. I like your idea for there, just given that it is bald, to pick something that's faster growing, just to try to. Yeah, and that I mean it's normal. between road salt and the, the pond. I mean the ponding on that the field. That hopefully the gypsum will alleviate yeah. a yeah, good that deal may, of that. That may take multiple applications right, over a number of years is, for that. But not to like twenty. Ultimately, do it. No, I mean I. I yeah, so. I've seen what people have done it and just are amazed at yeah. how good a job it does. But you do that in the spring, and if you see that it's working, another application could be done in the fall, um, you know, September-ish. And, you know, just keep it working. Keep eating away at the compaction that's there. And then you can decide if you want to put different types of grass seed in there that will take wear and tear. There are varieties that will do that, and maybe just overseed the areas with those kind of seed, grass seed, so that it's less of a problem with having to worry about fertilizing. I mean, ultimately, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to fertilize the whole green. Um, mm. Oh, and yeah. you said with organic fertilizer. Exactly, yeah. because Otherwise, we'll have algae at the kazoo in the pond. Oh, yeah. And you still could, depending on, you know, but it's less likely you're going to get a lot of phosphorus in organic fertilizers, and that seems to be what stirs all of that up. But this thing, you know, if the, the upper green pond actually does tend to turn green, I've advocated, and I did with the, the Green ER people, to put in an ultraviolet filter. Um, the, the water comes through, it runs along, there's an ultraviolet light, a glass tube, and the water runs above the glass tube, and the ultraviolet light kills the algae. And so then you'd have some kind of a filtration system that would take the dead algae out, and you know, it might have to be fairly big, it might be something that is expensive to maintain. Yeah, exactly. But it's something you plug in each spring and you know filter the water through, and there'd be some maintenance. But you know that'd be something that you could teach a volunteer to do. Okay, you come in here every ten days and you open this box up and you take the dead algae out and you know yeah. goes into a bucket somewhere and gets disposed of and then in the fall it just gets shut down. And how, how does the water get filtered now? Doesn't. It does it. Does yeah. Well you have the fella that was in there, you know. We're doing that thing, yeah. yeah. That, that might be something that we might want to get a copy of 
of, of the report yeah. of what's going well, so on with the lawn. Actually, we just need somebody in there waiting around all the time because as long as that's the case, the geese wouldn't come in. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, we, we don't find So we need like nursery so. school kids in there all yeah, the time. Yeah, right. <laughs> Play dates, everything. Oh, you mentioned that to me. So yeah. as long as I'm here, the geese don't want anything. Yeah. You could just chain a couple of coyotes out there. Yeah. 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 And that, that wouldn't breed any other problem. No. Well, well, we know who he is. We, we know what his yeah. conclusions were. No, but the, the, the but he does have to report. He does report right. to the so board. Have, so we would have be aware of that. And also, just while on the subject, they still haven't fixed that uh, great. the great thing at the oh. other end, which is not. I know it just has that. Uh, yeah, it's covering up a hole. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, the hole. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That may have something to do with why the pond level is so high. It may. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, but it, but yeah, I mean that's been like that. And I believe that thing is, I think that is right on the line between the stakes right away. Uh, I think that's the stakes. Yeah, right. Yes. I believe it's right on the line because that's the pavement. That's showing pavement. That's show in pavement. Right. That doesn't show the right of way. This is approximate right of way. Oh, we got an approximate right of way. You want the bigger one? Oh, there's a right there. And where is the... But it goes easy. This is the, yeah, this yeah is you're the right. You're, yeah, so we were back in the insurance the rest of it. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, that's a good question. about it was like hardly any greens in it really it was kind of a false false favorite there you should write to the editor and say look you're missing out one of the oldest greens in the state of massachusetts it was supposed to be all the greens in massachusetts but it's not it but it does allude to the fact that it would be about all of them but it's not i have it i bought it yeah oh i'm like okay Where's, yeah. Where's, where's us? Neither one of them run there. Ain't <laughs> there. Well, nobody drives down 1A anymore. It's, it's, Only on weekends. It's the scenic <laughs> highway. <laughs> I've been to school past some common. Well, you know, I don't know, killing time, but <laughs> after they closed the bridge, since they reopened the Park River Bridge there, yeah. most of the traffic goes out 133 and out to Route 1 or all the way to 95, the weekday traffic. Yes, yeah. that's why the weekday traffic is, is down it's because down. they found out it was faster than well, 133. Yeah. And that's what they do. If you go over in Raleigh, you can yeah. see what's yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But weekends is a whole other matter. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the weekends they switch to drive away. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, um, yeah. Moving on, where are we? Um, uh, what's next on the agenda? That's it. Isn't uh, it? The whole agenda was to discuss what we're going to do. do. Right. <laughs> well, <laughs> <there> we <go. laughs> well I, I, I'm not sure that we can um, post a, a time for the public forum until we've got all our well, I want to know. stuff together. But we're, how much longer does this committee have? They I'm going to ask six months. Well, yeah. The question was, well, because originally... It was six months. It was... Right. From the time that they... Which was like out, two, they were never going to get this together. They said, that's right. six months and uh, no longer. That's right. That gives us about a week and a half. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're Could literally going to go beyond. Could be. Well, because I had, we, they had to re... Um, assess, because remember, we had to change the wording on that public meetings and yeah. said and they had to vote on it again yeah but that's so still uh, in our time frame that's right I, I when do they when do they vote that was it september or, or august august was, uh, i think our first meeting was august 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 september october november december january, january. Oh, it's 14th, you know, 
This is it. Yeah. Yeah. But we have to have two public hearings, but I think we're not quite ready for uh, the next one. So either we have to get the selectmen to... Well, I'm going to send an email and ask them um, the difference between what our, our six-month charge that we were told versus what they had us sign in at, which was until 6.30, on 6 2020. Well, that's because it's the end of the fiscal year. That's the only reason for that. That's a, that's why the committee would end it at that time. Right, but it's there's a difference between what they said difference. was the charge there's and what they difference. had us sign in for. So I think this that maybe first. Do we need to a charge you know, is there's, a charge. there's a was there a leeway in it because the charge does not actually state it that I can see on it. Yeah, because I mean, clearly at this point we need the extra time, so it seems worthwhile to just go and say, you know, could we have an extension? Um, and well, X there, well, particularly if we can have another public hearing. Yes. Yeah. Right, and we're near, we're nearly there actually. We have just got to do that list of all the bullet points. Yeah, which we pretty public much have hearing, from which we have already. Mm. You sign off on the right trees and things, maybe some pricing guidance. Give us full talk, and then we're, we're done. We've got all the other points down. I mean, nothing new has come out that we need to do. do yeah, because I think that I think you're right. I think in a, you know, with another meeting, we could put together the list because yeah. we've already you know, discussed yeah. that yeah. at length. Yes, yeah, I mean, a lot of it's like. Some of the stuff comes out of the last meeting. The comments. And comments. before that meeting, we had also put, if you recall, a list mm -hmm. together for people to review that just yep. had like a, a list of suggestions for consideration. Yep, we have, uh, in fact, that one had the premiums and we're, we're oh, yeah, the we Yeah, so we did, um, did most of it. And Tim said just, just now that, that, that those list of trees all work, it's just a matter of for each particular spot, picking right. the right one of right that one. set. Yeah, if people right. want natives, these yeah. would be some of the best so, ones that you could use. Perfect. And Which, that was the general opinion of all those present. Yeah. Yeah, they were surprised they didn't... that we had, you know, more than a well, couple. I think they were conditioned by the previous thing which went for one particular yeah. species. Yeah, so they were really happy and, to see uh, that we, because we had those hanging up in the library, yeah. all those pictures. Yeah. So were, uh, well, if you look at this, that's, well, uh, yeah, this list it, right here, his, that's uh, what's, what's there. Yeah, yeah. and that's, that's basically, if you count Norway maples, um, what have you got? One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, you know, varieties. 12 Norway maples. Oh, out of the. That are existing now. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then you throw in silver maples, which are, you know, again, reasonably short lived. So that's 13, 14, 15. Um, One and so basically, there's 15 out of the 20, what did they say, how many trees? 21, yeah. 21 trees, 15 out of the 21 are all the same varieties. What about it? What is it? Well, that's the first one that comes out in the spring. Um, it's white, uh, comes okay. out just before it's at the end. All right. Well, it's quite good to have things that come out at different times. Yeah. Well. Yeah. And that's the other thing with all of these. There's foliage coloration, there's... Some of the things will have fruit that will attract birds. Um, so there's all kinds of things that you know can be done. Yeah, we don't want so to have like a whole lot of fruit things falling all over the, the um, well, diamond. It's, it's nothing that geese will eat. So. Oh well, that that's yeah. good. Sorry. That's why you need the coyotes. Yeah, we uh, organized August 14th, which means that. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like we must meeting. have passed this August. pretty much the first of August. August. Somewhere around. I don't know when that meeting was. I think it was the end of July. The end of July. Yes. I think it was. 
asking whether, to your well, Jim's point, so that we are sworn so in or whatever the right nomenclature is through the, the summer, yeah. and to, to ask that for the charge be extended for that. that. 723, the Board of Selectmen meeting voted to appoint five members. Ah, uh -huh. 723, so there you go. 723, which, uh, so we should have been done the 23rd of this yeah. month. Yeah, so maybe it's just clarification that we're good to keep going through June 30th. Yeah, I mean, that's what the, my parents has a sign Yeah, it took forever for that to just get established. And once it did, it took off. Oh, yeah. Right, this is uh, yeah. paragraph 5 talks about the farm. So I think we're all And it's 6.30? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's mostly because of these things have time to have the public. <laughs> right. And, like and, in, and in the meantime, it, they get a chance to look, you know, to look at the um, yeah, what needs be to be trimmed and what might be completely dead. It would be nice if we have we could just fold up and the same. Right. We've gotten pretty much everything identified that needs to be done, and it's we're done. Yeah. I mean, we, we're not we doing it. So. No, <laughs> we gave the public meeting. This is what we've come out with. These are small trees, maybe there's some trees. So when will we propose to have it? Just an idea. The public here. Because yeah. uh, we've got to give two weeks notice. Right, right. Well, I don't know. Do we need two weeks notice? No, we're not a public meeting. We have a oh, public oh, yeah, forum. Right, right, he right. has to yeah, yeah. post twice. What? Right. Yeah. Yeah. He has to. The public. Yeah. Post the public forum. Yeah. 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 meeting has to be. A public hearing has to be posted. Not a public hearing. No, Tim is. Tim is. That's like why we oh, 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 don't want to do it. That's why I asked him to clarify that word. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. right. it's like we don't have money to post this meeting. Post things in the newspaper. It really depends on how it's there. So we're a forum. And then a couple of, of the yeah. selectmen afterwards um, had asked if we could. If, if we're going to have more, uh, more than an, uh, one more, or at least the one more we have, that it would be later, a little later in the day, so that more of them would be available to attend. Because we had it at 10 o'clock in the morning. Or at home. The board. Right, right. Select. Oh, they want to come along, but yeah. So we're, we're looking at sort of when they have to come. Possibly they would mid, like mid, to come. So mid when they, or I guess the other question hey, that could point to time is really the question to me. Like if you, you have a good sense for when the morning, you think the, the hearing and trimming might take break. place, yeah. then we could. But you know, could, well, the hearings we could have it at one instead of ten. Have to be two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, we have to have it posted two weeks before the meeting. And then after the meeting's done, then technically you can go right to back right, and start right. pruning stuff, unless there turns out to be a lot of objections at the meeting. Yeah, yeah. that's where you run into the problem. But I think it's best to get that over as soon as possible. Yeah, you? I mean if you can sort of get it out this week to sort of get the ball rolling. Yeah, so just yeah. now it's going to get messy because our sap's running already. Hmm. Yeah. Well, we haven't gotten anything done here tonight, my no. opinion. So we, we should uh, come better prepared with, uh, with all the lists. what we're going to do, and we should meet within a week, and then the next week we should have the forum. Correct. Well, unless, I guess the only the only thing that I wrench that I might throw in it is, like, if Tim was thinking, like, you know, I really think that I'll get the hearing done and the pruning done by February, then we might as well aim for March. Yeah. But if we think that it's going to be like more like March time frame, but I thought that in an ideal world we'd love the input from Tim. Well, we like his input, but we're still going to come up with the same general recommendations. I think. Yes, yeah. I'm just sort of thinking if his hearing um, produces a lot of people who say we don't want any change, then we're we're sort of 
Hold this band right there. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, ultimately what it comes down to is it's not going to get much different than you got last time. What what do you people really want done with the green? Yeah. You know, well, geez, we don't well, we want to prune any of the trees back. back. You know, I mean, we've got to. We do don't want anything removed, and I don't know what we do. Yeah. Anybody wouldn't. Well, you know, it's it's I'm, all it all boils down to not my tree, one. not my backyard. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah, we need to get rid of those dead trees, but not the one by my house. I like that tree. Yeah, don't throw it. That's, it's like, just uh, just coming through the field. Look at them. Oh, you can't uh, plant a tree in front of my house. We're all it was yeah. like, but if people, like, you know, literally, if he does, if he does, like, if he thinks that he could get it done in February, then it might make sense to just get Mark from here to that. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. You think that's ready to... So, <laughs> but if he thinks that it's oh, going to be God, much I later, then I would agree with Fred and just ignore it. You know, do it. Oh, I was just saying that if Tim thinks that he's going to, in relatively short order, get to the assessment, then it might make sense to sequence. But if not, but it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, but if not, then it might make sense to just plow forward. I think either way could be okay. It seems to me that we're basically no, think, uh, still with the same list right. that we so. had at the forum. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Except to make to, to flesh it out and yeah. say Absolutely. we check we check the flagpole, it needs to be repaired, yep. um yep. and or replaced, whichever and it's that it's we it has to be. It's not a question of we think mm -hmm. it might need to be. Right. Yeah. Um, we talked about putting more granite dust and stuff on that one section of the pond where it's crumbly. Yeah. Nearest, I believe, high road. Mm -hmm. On the walkway. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. a repair. So yeah. Because the because the, the granite dust is like. Why didn't we just? Why didn't we just? Not easy to this. just to run yeah. run yeah. through. Okay. Can we let's just That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Update it. Update. Add like add make it. more detail. You got it. Yeah. yeah. Flesh it out. Like put in the you can put the information in about the yeah. how to get rid of the geese thing and yep. what it would cost and whether or not it would be viable. Yep. We've already been through all that. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. And, so and mm -hmm. the pond aerator idea. The what? Pond aerator idea was oh yeah. good as well. That was well, I don't know. After talking with the with the expert there in the pond, he, he well, felt it really uh, wasn't necessary. But he, but he's got a, the other solution is the ultraviolet thing, which you know, so that may be a better solution. I don't know, but we throw that one in. So I got to I'm going to ask um, Ellen might have caught it's have a copy of the, the report the guy the is oh, yeah, we went there. The yeah. and yeah. I'll just ask her to um if she can forward it and I'll forward it mm -hmm. to all of us so we can see what okay. he's doing and what he thinks yeah. um the future of the what, yeah. what's going to happen. And I, and I like to so that flagpole about sixty years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's it yeah. is yeah. definitely yeah. definitely. Yeah. 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 We've like already it. decided we could yeah. easily paint the backstop. Yep. And then I think maybe we should you know. I like the shrubs behind the I like the shrubs behind the benches. There's nothing no green, it's all like a yeah. Like a, yeah. yeah. So I put that in. And then Who's possibly put, place? you know, like some Who's some uh, some kind of shrubbery to delineate the back of the with a the benches for the if the kids sit on and the roadway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Your idea um, of the bushes the, is really the, good um, idea. the drain outlet to the pond is blocked or something's wrong with it. Someone needs to look at that. That needs to be yeah. done. Um, yeah, because if we can't keep that pond level down where it belongs, then that jeopardizes the whole bloody Which is what it, where it yeah. is at the moment. In fact, you can't walk along there uh, getting. It's funny. Well, yeah. yeah, it went right over my. Well, and then it's, I'll, then it's just suggested. Clean up around the monuments and plant, plant the maybe, cool. and cut shrubs. back some of those the shrubs and things that are there, and because that's a very important area of people seeing around to come off of Parker I mean, to yeah, get on yeah, high. Yeah. Some of those so shrubs, we don't want well, like some of those shrubs got out of low control. growing or whatever things that you know. We don't want any. We don't want any shrubbery around the Benedict Island monument. No. Well, there you go. It says there's a planter there. Have you seen the planter? Yeah. 
Yeah. Not at the Benedict Donald Monument. That's down, no, that's that's down, down by the corner. The, the other end. Yeah. The Benedict Donald Stone is right by right the, down the, um, there. the uh, yeah. Well, there's nothing down there. Baseball field, no. Well, no it's just it, a. It's right. Just they want to leave it like that. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Now I'm just seeing this heath pond, which is a giant bit of civil engineering pipe work turned up on its end and filled with stuff. Now there used to be a that, fountain somewhere in this area, and it drained down into the pond. Uh, long ago. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, long, 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 long ago. There was not a fountain in the pond, although they did have a little squirt of there when I was a kid. Try to, try to keep the algae out, I guess. While I don't you're, know. While you're there, the, I, the I saw there's a huge concrete pan on this bit of... Yeah, that's, that's, that, that's, that's the where the handcuffs sit. Oh, is that? That's, that's for the mustard. Yeah. Otherwise, I mean, these things have metal wheels that go right down in there. <laughs> you see, you're talking about car parking. You could use that bit there as your parking. Yeah, but I think no, that, that yeah. people no. would, I don't know if people would. Yeah, you know what they're going to do. Yeah. I don't know if people would like that. Yeah. Sorry, Amelia, you know, but no, from no. what I understand, the Green Street people feel they own Green yeah, yeah. Street, and nobody is allowed to park no, there. Right. I've known, heard stories of people coming over and knocking on car windows and telling people they're not allowed to park on that no side. Way. Oh, yeah. really? I'll make sure I'll park there then. Yeah. Thank you for telling me. I Was that recently? <laughs> yeah. Like, people that still live there? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, one of the times I was out there That's looking at the trees and parked my car along the side, and no way. people they, they come up and you know try and stare you down. Really? And then I just say, uh, "I'm a tree this one is, from the town of checking out all the trees." No way. Name and shame. Oh, oh, that's crazy because there's always people. I mean, because we're right in front of our house is where there's like the sort of natural parking so spot. There's always people parked there. there. Hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, yeah, it's no, mirror, it's, it's mirrored. mirrored. I'm just wondering if this house is still there. I think so. Yeah. Which, which street is it on? Green. On Green. That's, the one that's, that's up at the end. This is, this is up near where, the, where the, uh, the, the hands up thing is. Not all the way up, but it's, it's in that corner. That's where the schoolhouse was, was in that corner. See, this is the, this is the Atkinson house on Hanover. Which one? That this, one? This one right here. Mine. That's the Atkinson? I thought the Atkinson house, the Atkinson house looks different to me. Maybe no, not. See, I think that's it. Where? Because the Atkinson right, house is the one that had the um, had the what? sale, right? Yep. Yeah, no. No? Uh -uh. I think uh, I think you're right. It's not I don't think it's, it's not that one. That's not the Atkinson house. Well it doesn't look like the uh, minister's house. No. It doesn't look in the right place. Because there's a here's a road. That, okay, that's but green. Oh, well, even like, so. This is the same house here. Yeah, see, it's just uh, like. I agree. Oh, I don't know. It's something one separate. Oh, it is. You're right. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Right. Yeah. the same house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. see, this is another picture. Right. 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 That house yeah. really yeah. is here. Oh, you know what that is? Yeah. Oh, I see what you're talking about. And you just work stuff in. Yeah, no, that, that's on green. This house is green, so that's on green. Because you're talking about the thing. You're talking about that house? Yeah, that's the end of the house. 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 Because this is part of the street. No, this is green. The only question that I just need to throw on the fine. So I can't really hear it. Yeah. This is green. They look at it. Yeah, it's a good point. And I wonder if. Then there would be that was the original yeah. 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 and then no one started sold in the middle of that one. I mean, initially, just to say all those trees along um, the only thing that I really want to add to the list is like actually take a look at and make a suggestion plan X number of trees along the way. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
that don't even, some of them don't even exist anymore, but there's old pictures there and it does show a lot of the, and gives names and things like that, so it's okay, kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah, I'll check it out. I love those old pictures. Yeah. And old, I love old yeah. ponies, too. I'll go, I'll go with so, when's our next meeting going to be? Next week. Next week, yeah. Well, um, we got to see what we're going to have a meeting next week. I mean, you can't have, you have to have a place to have it. Do you have the yeah, right. No, I have to get it to the town website. Well, there's the other room back here. Yeah, well, the kitchen. What? The kitchen is the other meeting room. Oh, it's a kitchen, huh? I thought the kitchen was the next main, the next room down. It, it's down that corner. <laughs> oh, the, right we, we, the place we met before yeah. is Tracy's office again. Oh, ha, 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 ha. I thought you moved downstairs. She's back up. <laughs> and the mean and the place downstairs is technically it's not a technical public meeting room because you'd have to have the keys to get oh, into two doors. It's smaller even, I think, than that room was, so we have to see what dates are available to meet at. You had folding chairs and put them out in the hall. Yeah, the yeah right. And yeah, we, we can put right out to the head of the stairs, right? I, that's where capital uh, planning has their meetings. Yeah, yeah, right at the top of the stairs in those rooms. Yeah, we can okay. yeah. So we're going to get the final question list for the uh, recommendations oh, fleshed oh, up for the next week. Downstairs because couldn't get in the stairs. Yeah. So, oh, God, uh, uh, when next week? Uh, and, whatever works. It went over well. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> this is Wednesday, next Wednesday. Well, starting on Wednesday, Leslie's on vacation, not more people time. Oh, we're going to have. Well, that's tough on you. Yeah. What a sympathetic guy. <laughs> I'm writing this all down for you. <laughs> Wednesday's good for me. Yeah, Wednesday's fine. Wednesday's fine. And it shouldn't be very long because we... We're all going to come in having done next our Wednesday planning board. We were... We weren't in here. Prepared to know. And anyway, we might we might find out that we're extinct now. They're You're gonna check on that tomorrow, right? That would be right? so bizarre. Not, 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 not after the last <laughs> public forum <laughs> where um, who was it? Mr. Jesperson came up and said that was very good. Yeah, they're not gonna. That wouldn't make any sense. Oh. Yeah, they're not gonna memo to tomorrow. Okay. 7 p.m. Seven when? The fifth? Uh, next Wednesday, the fifth. Does that work for you? Yeah, I guess probably a snowstorm, man. Yeah? Well, it's time for a fifth. <laughs> all right. I'll second. I, cause I, we can also meet at the library, so. You've got options, so. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, it's not going to be in this room, so it's either going to be in the kitchen or the library, or, or the head of the stairs, or around or around wagon wheel discussion and stuff. <laughs> That's fine with me. I don't care. No, the head of the stairs sounds good to me. Well, it's not like we're yeah. discussing yeah. state yeah. secrets yeah. or anything. Yeah. Okay. I hope not. Just, uh, okay. There's not going to be anything secret. Yeah. Not a public good. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, so to so so adjourn. adjourn. Move to adjourn. adjourn. Yep. I'll second. second that and vote yes. Okay. <laughs> Aye. Okay. 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 Okay.